Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy B back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to connect the IMPC Pro 2 app to the MPC Studio Black Edition. Uh, first, I'm just going to show you what you need, the accessories, and then I'm going to go into the MIDI options and, you know, MIDI learning map everything. I'm not going to chop this video up, just go straight into it. Uh, first, you're going to need the USB 3 camera adapter. Uh, see the camera side, lightning port, USB side, lightning port. Also going to need the, what is this, lightning, the lightning charging dock. And the lightning slot, headphone jack. Um, I got both of these off of eBay. Uh, maybe, got a nice deal maybe, I don't even know. I'll just say $15 a piece. No need to buy them brand new in my opinion. You can find a uh, seller with a good uh, seller rate. All right, so first, you pair these two. Bang. Take your phone. Put in the dock. Grab your Studio Black's USB. Oh, let me pick it up. Try to do it. Connect that. All right, you see the MPC powered on, but MPC Studio Black, this accessory requires too much power. That's why you need the camera adapter with the double slot so you can plug in your charger. All right, so we're gonna plug in the charger. Bang. All right, MPC should stay on. Okay, hold on. All right. Is it back? It's back. Okay, good. It looks good. All right, now we're going to go into the... Hold on, let me... Is this a blank project? I think this is a blank project. Okay, blank project. Top left corner, options. Scroll down to the MIDI options. Select that. You have four, uh, I guess, spots where you can map different pieces of equipment. Gonna use, you know, it's already default to one. Down here where it says was the edit mapping MIDI learn. Gonna select that. Bam. Everything that you can map, obviously you can see is highlighted. You can't map anything in the tweet. You can't map anything in the timeline. You can map the mixer to the Q links and the uh, scroll wheel can map the tracks and you can map your sequences to the pads also but let's go back to the I would say the most important section the uh, the main layout all right so how do you map it select pad one hit pad one on the MPC and it's mapped you do that from 1 through 16 I'm gonna go ahead and do them all Five, eight, seven, eight. I'm gonna just hold on. Did I hold on? Go back. Mini map, and it's easy to go back into it. So on, so forth. Yeah, look at that left hand work. Got to work on both hands, fellas. All right, all pads are met. All sixteen pads are met. Um, select the, I don't even know what to call that, but it knows that I can map this also. Select done. See what's good about being able to map this function right here, the tune, tuning velocity filter resonance, uh, because without the MPC Studio Black, usually it snaps like this and you will hold it when you, but being able to map it here, it stays wherever you are. Uh, Pitch your instrument. That's dope. But let me load up a program real quick to show you that it's mapped. I'm going to the vault. Let's see. Drizzy. Okay. All right, let me. I just mapped this also.
tone it down. So your creativity, creativity will definitely go up when you have all this synced up. And I'm definitely going to start using it more often. Because most of the, you know, usually I'm tapping everything out. But yeah, that's how you map your IMPC Pro 2 app to the MPC Studio Black. And I'm pretty sure that's how you map any other MIDI uh, controller that you may use. But yeah, man, until next time, y'all be safe. Hold it down.